You're spending hours grading assignments when AI could do it in minutes. Your students are getting quick answers instead of actually learning. Teachers in other countries are saving 10 hours every single week while you're still drowning in work, and you're missing out on tools that could transform your entire classroom. Because Google just dropped over 150 new features for education, and most teachers have no idea these even exist. Hey everyone, I'm Amelia. I help educators and students use AI tools effectively, and today we need to talk about what Google just released because this is wild. We're talking about tools that are actually changing how education works. Real teachers are reporting massive time savings. Real students are learning faster. And everything I'm about to show you is backed by actual data from schools around the world. Let me start with a big number. Gemini for Education is now in over 1,000 U.S. colleges and universities. That's reaching more than 10 million students. This isn't some small pilot program anymore. This is happening at scale right now. And the impact is real. Teachers in Northern Ireland are saving up to 10 hours per week. Think about that. 10 hours. That's more than a full workday back in your schedule every single week. But here's what really caught my attention. A leader in Mexico shared how teachers were completing tasks in 20 minutes that used to take their entire weekend. 20 minutes instead of two days. That's not a small improvement. That's transformational. And I'm going to show you exactly which tools are making this possible and how you can start using them today. First, let's talk about guided learning. This launched in August, and it's completely different from how AI usually works. Most AI tools just give you the answer. You ask a question, you get a response, done. But guided learning doesn't do that. It acts like an actual tutor. It asks you questions. It breaks down problems step by step. It makes you think through the process instead of just handing you the solution. This is built on something called LearnLM. That's a family of AI models that Google specifically designed for education. They didn't just take their regular AI and slap it into schools. They built this from the ground up with learning science principles. They brought together AI experts, neuroscientists, and cognitive scientists. They work directly with teachers and students to figure out what actually helps people learn. And the difference is obvious when you use it. Instead of getting a wall of text with the answer, guided learning walks you through it. Let's say a student is struggling with photosynthesis. Guided learning doesn't just explain photosynthesis. It asks what part they're confused about. It shows diagrams. It might pull in a YouTube video. It checks if they understood each step before moving forward. It's like having a personal tutor who adjusts to exactly what you need. But wait. There's more happening with Notebook LM. This tool is getting seriously powerful. You can now turn any written content into audio overviews. That means students can listen to their study materials while commuting or working out. You can create flashcards automatically from your course materials. There are video overviews that transform written content into visual explainers. And there's this feature called Mind Maps that helps students draw connections between different concepts. Students can use these features to prepare for exams without spending forever on busy work. Now, let's talk about Gemini in Classroom. This is huge. Over 30 AI-powered tools are now available for free to anyone over 18 with Google Workspace for Education. Free. No premium subscription needed. Teachers can instantly draft quizzes for their 7th grade class. They can create interactive learning tools grounded in their actual class materials. They can differentiate activities for students who need extra support or more challenge. Here's a practical example. A teacher wants to create a quiz on the American Revolution. Instead of writing 15 questions from scratch, they open Gemini in Classroom. They tell it what topics to cover and what difficulty level. Gemini generates the quiz in seconds. The teacher reviews it, makes tweaks, and it's done. What used to take an hour now takes 10 minutes, and that time adds up fast when you're teaching multiple classes. When I first started using these kinds of AI tools for education, I was overwhelmed. That's when I found this community called AI Profit Boardroom. 1,800 members all focused on learning AI together and sharing what actually works. It taught me which workflows save time versus which ones waste it. The community shares real use cases and practical implementations. If you're serious about using AI to improve your work and skills, check it out. Link in description. Back to the Google updates. They're also doing interesting things with Chromebooks. Class tools for managed Chromebooks let teachers share content directly to student screens. You can check in on student work in real time. You can set devices to explore mode for research, focus mode for testing, or locked mode when needed. 
This gives teachers way more control over the learning environment without having to physically walk around checking every screen. The new Chromebook Plus devices have AI features built right in. There's something called Quick Insert that lets you generate images on device and automatically insert them into your documents or slides. Text Capture lets you extract information from anything on your screen. Like if you're looking at an email with event details, it can automatically add that to your calendar. These are small features, but they add up to serious time savings. Something else that's interesting is the Chromebox OPS. This is a plug-in device that upgrades interactive flat panel displays to run Chrome OS. So if your school has those big interactive screens, but they're running old software, you can upgrade them without replacing the entire display. That's a smart move for schools with tight budgets. Let's talk about the analytics side. Google Classroom now has expanded analytics that give teachers actionable insights on student progress. You can tag assignments with learning standards and track how students are doing on specific skills. This is coming soon, but it's going to be really valuable for teachers who need to report on standards-based learning. Instead of manually tracking everything, the system does it automatically. Read Along in Classroom got more flexible too. Teachers can now generate or upload stories tailored to student needs. You can offer different reading modes depending on what students need to practice. This is especially helpful for literacy instruction, where students are at different levels. Now here's something most people don't know. Over 1 million educators and students got Google for Education training on AI in 2025. That's a massive number. And over 100,000 earned Gemini certifications. All of this training is free. Completely free. Google isn't charging for these certifications. They want teachers and students to actually learn how to use these tools effectively. They're also launching AI literacy programs for younger students. Be Internet Awesome Now includes AI literacy curricula. And there's something called AI Quests, which is a game-based learning experience that lets middle school students experience the AI lifecycle firsthand. This was created by Google Research and Stanford. It's designed to teach kids about AI concepts in a way that's actually engaging, instead of boring lectures. The privacy angle is important here. Google for Education tools are private and secure by default. For schools, that's crucial. Parents and administrators need to know student data is protected. Google has this as a core commitment. The tools have stricter content policies for users under 18. There's youth onboarding with AI literacy resources and administrators can control access, search conversations, and view usage reporting. Let's talk about some practical workflows. Say you're a high school history teacher. You have a unit on World War II coming up. Here's how you could use these tools. Start with Gemini to generate a lesson plan outline aligned to your state standards. Use Notebook LM to create an audio overview of a chapter from your textbook so students can review it at home. Create a custom quiz in Gemini in Classroom based on your learning objectives. Use the analytics to see which students are struggling with specific concepts. Then use Gemini again to create differentiated materials for students who need extra support. That entire workflow used to take hours spread across multiple days. Now you can set it up in under an hour. And the quality is actually better because you have more time to focus on the teaching part instead of the administrative busy work. Or let's say you're a college student studying for finals. You upload your lecture notes to Notebook LM. It generates flashcards and a study guide. You use guided learning in Gemini to work through concepts you don't fully understand. It asks you questions to check your understanding instead of just telling you the answer. You can upload images of problems from your textbook and get step-by-step -step explanations. This is how students are using AI to actually learn instead of just getting homework answers. If you're looking to dive deeper into AI tools and actually implement them in your work, I recommend AI Profit Boardroom. Over 1,800 people learning how to use AI effectively. Everyone shares real experiences. What's working? What's not? Which tools are worth your time? Which ones to skip? No hype. Just solid information and practical guidance from people doing the work. It's helped me stay on top of updates and figure out how to actually apply them. Link in description if you want to check it out. If you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one. Join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. The bottom line is this. Education is changing fast. Tools that save teachers 10 hours per week exist right now. Students have access to AI tutors that adapt to their learning style. 
and most of this is free. You don't need a big budget. You don't need to wait for your school to approve something. Many of these tools are available today for anyone with a Google account, but you do need to learn how to use them effectively. That's the gap. The tools are powerful, but only if you know what you're doing. Random prompting won't get you great results. You need to understand how to structure your requests. You need to know which tool is right for which task. You need to see real examples from people who are already using this stuff successfully. That's what separates people who get value from AI versus people who try it once and give up. The difference is having the right guidance and being part of a community where people share what's actually working. If you found this helpful, drop a like and subscribe. I'm breaking down AI tools for education every week with practical examples you can actually use. No hype, no fluff, just real information that helps you work smarter and learn faster. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.